All right, guys, we finally received this television. This is the new top of the line TCL QM850G. This TV is fully loaded with Dolby Vision. You also have Dolby Atmos. It has hands-free Google and much more. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. All right, so this is a 65 inch. And the first thing you need to do is just cut off these little plastic clips. And then I'm gonna use this to just go ahead and open up the top of it so we can get access to all the remote control, the manuals and all that good stuff. As expected, you have this little box that goes on the back of it, and that's where this actually makes the TV float, and it's the wire maintenance uh, cabinet. You also get a remote control, batteries, power cord, and a basic instruction book. And then here's the last piece, the metal feet that basically makes it stable to the table. And there's some little rubber uh, grommets here on the bottom. Now, one thing I do notice is that a lot of TVs are putting these front facing uh, cardboards on it. And the great thing about that is when they ship it, has less chances of getting the screen cracked, which is great. Now, since these straps are holding on the bottom piece, once you get all your accessories out of the top, you can just lift off the box like this. In order to put this together, you can see three screw holes here and three here. And you're gonna take this heavy metal plate and you're basically gonna line it up just like that. And then you just wanna go ahead and screw 60 screws right here on the bottom. Once you get that ready, we can then look at the back of the TV. Now on the bottom of the speaker, somewhere in here, it has 10 watts by two, plus this TV has a 20 watt subwoofer as well. And this TV has a button right here that you can use for off and on, plus there's a mic mute button here at the bottom as well. And the last thing you need to do is you can see there's some thread patterns on the bottom of the TV. You just take that base and you're gonna go ahead and line it up and then go ahead and insert the two screws on either side. Now, the last few things that you need to do is pull off these little white pieces and this basically protects the TV when it's getting shipped. And this TV does have a screen protector. As you can see right here, there's a little orange tab. We just wanna grab it like this and then just pull it right off. Now, the first thing I noticed when I took this TV out of the box is how stealth everything is. I mean, they have everything hidden behind different covers. For example, over here, we have all your inputs. And I will tell you that this TV has a 4K 120 hertz, a 4K 144 hertz, and an eARC, so you can hook up all your sound bars and enjoy two gaming consoles. And then over here, we have a subwoofer. This is called Ultra Bass. And this is gonna deliver about 20 watts of power and I can't wait to test that out. On this side, we have your power cord input. You just pull that off and you can have your wire kind of floating there at the bottom. So I'm very excited to see how well this TV performs when we get to the full review. In my opinion, they made a perfect size bezel so the TV has a lot of strength. The bezel is nice and clean, and there's a black border that goes all around the edges to keep the TV centered. The pedestal is made out of solid metal, which is definitely an improvement. And this TV does have hands-free Google commands, so all you need to do is just toggle over that microphone to enable it, and the lights go out, but if you turn it back off, the lights will stay on to let you know that it's muted. This is not the full review, but I want to give you guys some highlights. First of all, this is Google TV, so you can do voice commands and all that good stuff. You have different shows that set up for you. You have live TV, and the cool thing about this TV is that they have their streaming channels, plus you can hook an antenna up, which I actually did. This TV also has access to plenty of apps. You're talking Apple TV, YouTube Music, and if you go down here a little bit farther, you can see that you have Kodi, Paramount, Tubi, you name it, it's pretty much in here in the Play Store. Now on the sidebar, you have a screen saver that's ambient mode. You can change all your inputs and quick connections to your picture settings. Another thing y'all like about the TV is that it has plenty of storage. We're talking about 23 gigs, so that's gonna give you enough room to download all your different software, Apple AirPlay, and HomeKit, so you can connect it to your different Apple devices. Now this is a piece I wanna show you guys. It's called Game Master. This is the new gaming menu. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. And with this turned on, you can press and hold down this little menu button right here, and you get this pop-up. On here, it's telling you the console, frames per second, all that good stuff. And at the bottom here, you, you can do screenshots, you have shadow effects, you have an aiming bar right here. You can go customize that in the menu for everything. So this is a great feature that they included with this new television. Now playing this game is very smooth and it is very responsive. And the great thing is, I'll show you guys on the full review that the new motion is really 
really good. I was very impressed how well it performs, but you can see on this game, it's working out pretty good. I mean, it's smooth. And with that gaming mode, again, you can see all your stats. Here's a quick look at the uniformity. Overall, it's got a really solid picture. There's a little bit of a netting here in the corners, nothing that's gonna really mess up the picture too bad, but it's overall, it's pretty good. Now, if you have something like YouTube TV, which is a streaming app, you basically can get up to 1080p, and if you pay a little extra, you can get 4Ks, but that's only for gaming events. But pulling this up, the TV has this really nice, dark kind of look to it. The cool thing is, is that when I got it from the factory, check this out. Down here at the bottom, the brightness is at 10. So you can pump this up and adjust everything to make it as bright as you like. There are also different picture modes. So you have IMAX, Vivid, Low Power, Sports, Movie, and it actually has a PC mode in there. And then for sound, you have Dynamic, Standard, Movie, Music, Voice, Live, and Back to Dynamic. So here's the remote that comes with it. And again, you have all your navigation keys, everything there. You can get directly to your TV information. You have some hotkeys at the bottom, but let me show you guys something. Now this is very cool because this remote control has a built-in backlight so you can get to all your different settings. So it seems like TCL really thought about everything and it is sensitive. So if you set it on the table and pick it up, the light will come on for a few seconds. My first impressions of this TV, I think TCL did a fantastic job. The design is amazing. You got that subwoofer on the back. You have this nice stealth look. The cabinet looks really premium, but a lighted remote control, haven't seen that in a long time that actually has some pretty good brightness to it. And this TV has a lot of nits, a lot of color profiles. So I can't wait to get into that full review where we can take a deeper dive. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below and let me know. That'd be great to hear. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.